Hey guys, welcome to the TechZim Update. I'm your host, William Chu, and this particular episode is brought to you by Pindula. On to stories that have been making news over the last couple of days since we last met each other. First up, the power utility, uh, Zesa, as most of us would know it, is about to have its lights switched off. Yep. South Africa, in the form of ESCOM, have given eight days notice. Well, they actually gave it a long time ago, uh, over a, just about a month now, uh, when they notified Zesa that if at the end of May you fail to clear up your debt, the amount you owe in, the repayments that you committed to, we're going to turn you off. Zesa is owing in excess of 43 million United States dollars and due to the cash crisis in Zimbabwe, has been failing to remit that money. ESCOM uh, has said enough is enough. If you fail to clear your debts, we're going to cut you off. And they have been supplying Zimbabwe with 300, 300 megawatts. How big a deal is 300 megawatts? Zimbabwe's actual consumption right now sits on about 1.1 to 1.4, depending on the day that you get the sources. But you're looking at 1,100 to 1,400 megawatts. 300 megawatts down would really affect us. So much so in that Zesa will now be forced to prioritize those who are bringing in foreign currency. I don't. So not a priority. On to other stuff that has been happening. EcoCash. Uh, EcoCash, some of you might know, have a way at least for you to buy a MasterCard. Uh, they call it a VCN, a virtual card number. That has been down for four days now. Last week, Thursday, was the last time people were able to access it. It's been down. Communication with them says they're working on it. Um, those that did buy MasterCards, uh, virtual card numbers, are also saying they're failing to make online payments. Uh, I'm sure you'd remember on TechZim, we've notified you of all these places you could pay with your EcoCash vir virtual card number. That is currently not happening. When it's back and up, if it's back and up, we'll definitely be notifying you. Something that is not down worldwide but also in Zimbabwe is Bitcoin. Now Bitcoin has been racing, racing up. Uh, the value of Bitcoin I'm sure from the last time we notified was sitting on about 1,900. As of this particular update, 2,300 United States dollars for one Bitcoin. Uh, I don't know what the price will be by the time you view this but definitely at the time of recording $2,300 is the price of one Bitcoin. Uh, moving up north in Africa, Uber. Uber is launching in Egypt a boat service for Uber. So those of you that uh, contemplating visiting Egypt, you'll be able to get an Uber in the form of a boat. Um, those that go for tourism or have various things to do that end of the world, they'll be able to catch a boat using their Uber. The last update, I'm sure you remember last week, wanna cry, wanna cry. Um, the ransomware worm that spread on the internet has version two now. So they're not calling it wanna cry, they're actually calling it eternal rocks. A bit of history, wanna cry was developed from a leak to the NSA, NSA National Security Association in America. Um, some guys managed to steal some, some tools and features that side that allowed people to create WannaCry. Uh, two vulnerabilities or two tools from there were taken and created WannaCry. The guys that have created Eternal Rocks have taken seven. Eternal Rocks is a bit different. Not ransomware as yet, but what it's actually doing is it gets onto your machine, it downloads all your files, and it's sending it to the servers of the owners of Eternal Rocks, um, and is copying your files. 
no action, no ransom thus far has been demanded um, for you to get your files, but people are not too sure of what exactly is going to happen once these guys have your files. Perhaps maybe shut down your laptop or your device and take all your software and say, hey, if you want to get it back, you got to pay this particular price. Um, we're not too sure as yet, but definitely, yeah, text them. We will update you with more news as and when it comes. Hey guys, that's it from me in this particular episode. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.